Well, my grandfather was uh, a tiny landlord. Was considered after the liberation was considered to be a bad guy. So um, I, I I know how tough it was uh, when I was a kid. I went to the uh, Hangzhou Hotel now called Hangzhou Shangri La Hotel because that was the hotel can receive the foreign visitors. So every morning for nine years, I showed them around as a free guide. They taught me English, and uh, I think that changed me. Today, I'm 100% made in China. I've never got a one-day train outside China. And uh, people, when people talk to me, say, Jack, how can you speak English like that? Why sometimes you talk like an Amer Western guy? I think that was the nine years. These Western for tourists opened my mind because everything they told me are so different from the things I learned from the schools and from my parents. So now I have a habit. Whatever I see, whatever I read, I use my mind. Think about it for two minutes. That, you tried to get into three colleges. I tried. There is an examination that young people, if you want to go to university, you have to taste, take the examinations. So I failed three times. Right. But a lot of fail. I failed for funny things that I failed a key primary school test for two times. And I failed uh, like uh, two, three times for the middle school, middle yeah. schools. You, you will never believe in, in Hangzhou, my city, there's only one middle school that lasts only one year. It was changed from primary school to middle school because our graduates of our, our, our school, no, univer, you, no middle school accept us because we were too bad. Yeah. <laughs> they would become a middle school. <laughs> what effect did it have, though, uh, being rejected? Well, I think we have to get used to it. We're not that good. Even today, we still have a lot of people reject us. When I uh, in the, graduated from universities, and before I, you know, for three years, I tried to fill in the universities. So I applied jobs for 30 times, got rejected. I went for a police, they said, no, you're not good. I went to even, even the uh, KFC. When KFC came to China, come to my city, <laughs> 20, 24 people went for the job. 23 people were accepted. I was the only one guy. <laughs> and we went for police. Five people, four of them accepted. I was the only guy that I rece received it. So to me, being turned down, rejected. Oh, by the way, I told you that I, would, I applied for Harvard yeah. for 10 times, rejected. <laughs> I know I'll be rejected. Yeah, I just don't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, sorry now. <laughs> 10 times you wrote them and said, I'd like to come to Harvard. Yeah, and then I told myself, somebody I should go teach there, baby. <laughs> I, I think that can be arranged. <laughs> I, I went back to China with the Seattle dream of the internet. I believe this thing is going to change the world. I believe this thing will be good, big. But whether Alibaba, uh, whether Jack Ma and his team can be successful, I don't know. I told the team somebody will be successful, but not, may not be us. We have to work very hard. So it were tough days in China, year 2009, six, uh, 1996, 1997, and we go nowhere because we, we only, I borrowed $2,000 from my friends and families and relatives together. But we compete with China Telecom. They have money, they have the mouth, SOE, they're state owned the business, they compete with us. Finally, you know, they cannot kill us because we want to survive. And we, of course, cannot kill China Telecom. So we had a joint venture. They have a 70%. We have 30%. And I was so stupid. I think they really love us. But they got us because they want to kill us. <laughs> uh, five, seven ball seats. They have a five. We got a two. Everything without even say our idea. Say we don't like it. So, so I say, maybe I should go into Beijing. Go to Beijing, join the government. Maybe they can help us promoting the internet. So we went to Beijing, joined the MOFTEC, Ministry of Foreign Trade, as a part-time job, contract for 14 months. I work inside, I find government can never, ever promote the internet, you know, make internet business. Because the philosophy of internet is try to develop how to make other people develop the business. But the government, they want to control at that time. So it's a totally different philosophy. They are smart, they're good people, but they think, how can I make it using internet to manage and control? But we think we should make not control, making other people develop. So different philosophy, I think it won't work, so I left. And then uh, during these days, I met Jerry Yan. And then I uh, think, well, you know, no chance in the government, no chance in that, and then I believe we should not give up. 
So I was in a desperate and think a lot. I said, let's go do it again. So we went back to Hangzhou. Start, I, I invited the 18 found, you know, my students and friends in my apartment. Year two, 1999, February 21st. We took the video. I was talking about you know, the future. People look at me, these guys are crazy. <laughs>如果说我们是早上八点钟下班五点钟五点八点钟上班五点钟下班这个不是搞高科我们这种精神反动我是下班了感觉就其他地方人家美国人强就强他的硬件强就强他的但是玩信息玩软的中国人脑袋绝不比
80% of the young people in China can be successful. We don't have a rich father, powerful uncle. We don't have one dollar from bank, one cent from government. Just work as a team. So what do you worry about? I worry about it today, young people, a lot of young people lose hope, lose vision, and start to complain. Because I, we also have the same period. Because when I got, it's not a good feeling being rejected by so many people. We also <coughs> depressed. But at least later we find that the world has a lot of opportunity. How you see the world, how you catch the opportunity. So, and the Hollywood gives me a lot of uh, inspiration. Do you want your husband to be a rich person or you want to be your husband to be a respected person? She said, of course respect it, because she never believed, and I don't believe we'll be rich people. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to survive. <clears throat> and tell them that if Jack, I, I don't think in this world there are a lot of people be rejected more than 30 times. <laughs> if we, you know, the only thing we never give up, the only thing like we're like a forest gun, we keep on fight, we keep on change ourselves. We don't complain. Whether you were successful or not successful, I find that one per people, when they finish the job, if they make the mistake, if they fail, if they always complain to others, this guy will never come back. If the guy only check himself, yeah, something wrong with me here, something wrong with me there, this guy has a hope. I'm a lucky guy. I will say the whether I'm a luckiest guy or unluckiest guy in the world. Unlucky is because I go nowhere. I don't have a privacy. I never thought I could be like that, you know. And 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 people say ugly looking, but I think I'm a unique looking person. <laughs> right? People and remember nobody, me. Nobody will call you handsome. I, I know that. So <laughs> you have a terrible view of judgment. <laughs> so with my background, my family background, with my uh, education background. It, I would be like uh, minus two or minus three if this is zero. <laughs> Honestly, because I know who I am from a, a, my father, my, my mother, and my aunts, you know, nobody in my family that have is uh, like a government officer, a business leader. That is why in the past 20 years, we never got even one cent from government, one cent from the China banks. Because you don't have any one sheet. Right, so that you just have to do from scratches. And with my, that like my, so what, no matter how hard I work, I probably like get two or three, if there's a 10, two or three, that's my top. But today I'm like a six. So the four difference, that does not belong to me. That's not me. So people think, Jack, you're so good. No, I'm not that good. But people say, you're the bad. No, I'm not that bad. Right? <laughs> well, our motto helps those nations have the small business. With, if you have a lot of small business, if you have a poor infrastructure of commerce, commerce, the reason why China e-commerce grow faster than American, because the American e infrastructure of commerce was so good. You have a Walmart, Amazon, whatever mall, everywhere. Because <laughs> they don't need it. They do. But for us, we don't have that. So when internet comes, we become the main infrastructure. So I said, in America, e-commerce is a dessert. We in China, we are main cause. This is why those nations, if your e-commerce, of your commerce infrastructure is bad, internet e-commerce will be good. And for internet, internet financing, same thing. America, you don't have internet financing, guys. You don't. We China have, why? Because our financial system in China is too bad. When it is too bad, it's the opportunity. Now China rural areas, we go to the rural help in the villages. Villages, 10 years ago, no chance because people don't use PC. Too complicated to use PC. Today, everybody have a mobile phone. So villagers, e-commerce, internet grow so fast. This is why maybe Indian come country like Egypt, those with good population, poor infrastructure, young people, your nation has a great young people, lot of, it's a great opportunity. When you have young people, it's growth, but don't mean you have a bad, old people bad, but young people, <laughs> you know, they are the changer, they're the shapers of tomorrow.